Okay, yeah. Uh, before going for Microsoft Azure, let me introduce about myself. Uh, hi, my name is Shekhar. I have 15 years of experience on Microsoft technologies. Currently, I'm work working as an Azure architect. Okay, yeah. Next, before going for Microsoft Azure, just I want to let you know something about IT infrastructure. Okay, do you know what is the IT infrastructure? Anyone has any idea? Generally, what is the IT infrastructure? IT infrastructure is the combination of software as well as like hardware. Is there like, uh, if it's uh, like in a data center, we can see the like database server, computers and all, all the combination yes. of hardware and software. Yes, correct. Simply we can say, uh, if we enter into the one organization, whatever the things are visible, that we will call it as infrastructure. Am I right? I can say systems, cables, wires, Okay, uh, and the routers, internet connectivity, server rack, server, data center, all these things we can call them as infrastructure. Simply we can say IT infrastructure is nothing but collection of hardware, software, switches, network, load balancer is called IT infrastructure. Right? Okay, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we require what? Data center. Okay, if you go for any organization, the company will have their own data center. The company uh, will have their own data center. See, this is the exact picture of IT infrastructure. If we consider, see, these are all the devices. Devices are connecting to one router. So this is load balancer. The request is maintained by load balancer. Also, this is the hardware system, RATS, database. These are the network connectivity, cable, swipes. These are, we will call them as what? IT infrastructure. This is the exact definition of IT infrastructure. The term infrastructure as an information technology that refers collection of hardware, software, switches, network load balancer is called IT infrastructure. Now, uh, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we required what? One DC. What is the DC? Data center. Okay, if you go for TCS, Cartridge and Wipro, Accenture, any company in the world, they will have their own data center. They have their own data center. Okay, so simply I can say, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization. I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through internal or corporate network is called data center. Okay, I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization. Okay, for example, uh, you have an organization, you got one project where I would like to build five servers. So to build five servers, what we have to do? We have to go and verify whether space is available in the data center. Once space is available, then we will rack the servers. Then we will start building all these five servers from scratch. Okay, so that is what data center. See, this is the exact picture of data center. This is the exact picture of data center. For example, we are working on one organization. We got one new project where I would like to build 10 virtual missions. I can say 10 virtual missions. First step, what we have to do? First, submit the request to data center team. This is the data center team. Okay, they will verify whether space is available or not. Yes, they will drag the space. Once space is available, first step, they will install operating system. Okay, second step, they will configure the networking. Okay, third step, they will install all monitoring tools. Okay, fourth step, they will install security vulnerabilities and security patches for it to deploy your application. Okay, fifth step, we will configure the firewall rules. Sixth step, uh, we will enable network security rules, okay? Virtual network rules, okay, etc., etc. Finally, we will verify all these servers are built 
based on what is that checklist or not once these servers are built finally these servers would be hand over to development team am i right development team or project team whoever it is whatever we are calling it as now to complete this process minimum it will take 7 to 10 days why because uh, we have to submit the request it should be approved by manager okay then uh, it will go to data center team data center team should allocate the space for these five servers depends on business requirement okay then installation configuration management uh, verify check security vulnerabilities to do all these things it will take minimum 7 to 10 days okay minimum 7 to 10 days okay uh, this is burden to organization why because if it is taking like uh, 7 to 10 days it is very difficult nowadays everything is happening instantly right so apart from that we have to manage windows team i mean operating system team next networking team okay next load balancer team next monitoring team next security team next application deployment and management team so many teams are required to manage or to provide the support to customer okay so to maintain these many teams to maintain our own data center okay the project budget the project budget is very 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 high okay we are not able to bear the organizations are not able to bear such kind of amount okay that is the one reason why entire it industry looking towards cloud 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 okay if we go for cloud computing whatever the count i said five servers that can be deployed within span of a minute i am telling only one minute not even two minutes Okay, we can host all these servers within span of a minute, very seven days and uh, one minute. There is a lot of gap. Okay, when you go for cloud computing, you need not maintain, what is that? These many teams like Windows team, monitoring team, implementation team, application monitoring team, security team, many things. Everything is inbuilt. We can provision the virtual machines within span of a minute. Okay, that's why entire organization, all the organization in the world looking towards cloud, 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 cloud. Okay, this is the just one region. We have many regions. Okay, so what are the other regions are there? Why entire organization is moving towards cloud computing? First thing, have a look. To maintain the data center, it is not a small task. What is that? To maintain the data center, it is not a small task. First thing, to maintain our own data center, we have to purchase the building. We have to purchase the building or construct the building. Okay, that building should be construct as per rules and regulations and guidelines provided by government. Okay, so why? Because uh, we are going to store the data that might be sensitive for all uh, personal people or business related information. So to build their own data center, they have to follow rules and regulations and guidelines provided by IT laws by government. Okay, yeah, next. So uh, see, first thing, we have to purchase one building and design according to data center rules and regulations and guidelines next uh, we have to design the data center in such a way that next to after designing the data center we need many things okay what are the things first thing we need dedicated space for housing infrastructure the point which i have just explained okay next we need high bandwidth internet high bandwidth internet in the sense for example, uh, my organization data center is there in New York. I am sitting in Hyderabad. Okay, to access the data, to access the data or application information or database, we need high bandwidth internet. We need high bandwidth internet. Okay, that is the another cost. Right, next. Uh, 
we need redundant power supply. Redundant power supply in the sense, see that to run this data center, we need electricity. We need electricity. If there is no electricity, then we should be able to run this data center with a battery or generator. Again, that is cost, right? Yeah, next step, dust-free environment. You know, right? So always uh, we should we should construct these building and design and the main name should be, what is that? Dust-free environment. Do you know uh, Microsoft data centers, uh, they are trying to deploy them inside of the sea, inside of the sea. So going forward by 2030, data centers cannot be appear on Earth. Uh, data centers, they are going to build it inside of the sea. Okay, that is the innovation is going on. Maybe that will be available by 2030. Okay, fine. Next. Other thing is uh, efficient cooling system. Okay, efficient cooling system means if we enter into the data center, you can see less than 10 degrees Celsius temperature. Less than 10 degrees Celsius temperature. Why? Because any hardware device, it will produce a lot of heat. Okay, uh, in order to cool it, so always we should maintain the AC temperature less than 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, yeah, next, a uh, high physical security. So high physical security in the sense, anyhow, as you know that already, the data center, uh, we can store the data that is very sensitive data, am I right? Sensitive data in the sense, we should provide a uh, high physical security. Unauthorized persons should not enter into the data center, okay? So another user person should not enter into the data center. So we have to provide high physical security. If we maintain our own data center, that is the story I am telling. Okay, next. So this is the disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in the sense, for example, this is the data center, right? This is the data center. Uh, assume that if you are managing only single data center, Okay, uh, it got corrupted. It got corrupted. Total data center got corrupted. If it is got corrupted, then whatever the data we have managed, everything will get vanished. I mean, we have lost the data. So we do not have the data. We do not have the option to recover as well. So to maintain, what is that? same data in multiple location, we need to maintain another thing called disaster recovery. So another backup data center. If this data center is collapsed, another data center should be there to recover the data. So it should not affect it to your business. Am I right? So uh, if you are maintaining single data center, that is not enough. We, ha we also have to implement disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in the sense, recover the data if any unexpected events are occurred. You know, right? I think in the year of 2000, in the year of 2000 or 2001, there is a World Trade Center collapse in the US. Why these terrorists are targeting World Trade Center? Why? Because Indian, uh, sorry, US economy, okay? US all financial system, they are storing on the data center. That's why they have collapsed. What is that? Uh, World Trade Center. Even though they have collapsed, uh, the US did not last even single record. Single record in a sense. So whatever the debits and credits provided by uh, US, they haven't lost such related data. Why? Because they're already maintaining what is that? Disaster recovery, another data center. Even the World Trade Center are collapsed by terrorists, they haven't lost any data, only physical damage of that building. That's it. Okay, same way to maintain our data safe and secure, we need to maintain what is that? Disaster recovery. Okay, yeah, to build another same data center, again, it is cost. Again, it is cost. 
okay yeah next other thing is we need more time more expense to build infrastructure i said right so if you would like to build few servers uh, it will take minimum 7 to 10 days still in real time okay because of all these challenges entire it industry looking towards cloud 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 clear so let me summarize the point what we have discussed so far okay what is the infrastructure what is the cloud what are the challenges are there to maintain our own data center okay next now you people tell me what is the cloud cloud is generally nowadays it is generic term okay if you go for any way uh, people are telling that cloud 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 okay now what is the cloud now you people tell me yeah direct uh, we can say nadal satya is going to be visited hyderabad uh, uh, microsoft campus tomorrow okay they are marketing about public uh, cloud 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 why cloud why should we go for cloud they are in detail providing in seminars day before yesterday noida i think yesterday also in delhi tomorrow is going to be visited in microsoft office in hyderabad they are going to launch fourth largest data center in hyderabad that will be ready by 2025 25 okay so uh, why these uh, corporate CEOs are marketing like cloud, cloud, cloud? Why cloud? Can you tell me anyone? What is the cloud? Anyone? Uh, to store and retrieve the data from everywhere, like yeah, uh, okay, the internet. Yes. So simply, I can say, cloud is nothing but collection of what is that? Resources. I am repeating. What is the cloud? Cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud. Okay. So this is the cloud. Assume that. In the cloud, they have deployed all the services. Whatever the required for enterprise environment. Okay. All the services are at single place. As per your requirement, just access and consume that. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Next. What is the cloud? I am repeating. Cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud computing. Okay. Remote services in a sense for your organization in your environment, whatever the things are there, everything they have placed in the cloud. For example, you need artificial intelligence. Yes, you can access it. I need to create one server, access it. Yes, do it. Okay, if you need implement machine learning, yes, implement it. That service is already there. And uh, if you need uh, uh, access and deploy the web apps, yes, access and host it. All these things are happening within span of minutes. Okay, here you need not uh, manage your own infrastructure. You need not worry about disaster recovery. You need not worry about uh, infrastructure configuration related information. Everything managed by, what is that? Cloud vendor. Okay, so this is the exact definition provided by uh, NIST. What is the cloud? Cloud is nothing but it is model of convenient on-demand network access based on your demand anytime, anywhere you can access those services. Okay, so where we can provision the network server storage applications that can be rapidly provisioned and with minimal management that is called cloud computing. If you feel that that is complicated, very simple, Okay, cloud computing is nothing but collection of remote services, just access them over the internet is called cloud computing. Okay, right? Yeah, next. Now, in the cloud computing, there are three types of service models. Okay, what are they guys? Any idea? So private cloud and public and hybrid cloud. Service models. One is 
as infrastructure as a service okay one is infrastructure as a service platform as a service yes pass. okay pass pass in the sense platform as a service okay pass what is that software as a service why they have categorized into different uh, three types of cloud service deployment models okay one is as as in the sense infrastructure they will provide the infrastructure application deployment and development should be managed by yourself okay for example you would like to deploy one java application okay for that you need to build five servers yes go ahead and build five servers within span of a minute then on top of it to host java application what we have to do install web servers web logic web sphere or jbas apache tomcat server on top of it host your java application then that should be managed by yourself okay the organization i mean cloud vendor just to provide the virtual machines then remaining management should be taken care by yourself why because application is yours management is yours that is what infrastructure as a service clear for example after one year your business is not good okay then go and destroy it at this moment okay till whatever the things we have consumed just pay for that that is what infrastructure as a services okay next platform as a services okay what is the platform as a services any idea so the name itself it is describing that platform platform in a sense um, they are providing platform and run time for example you have to deploy one java application a java code is ready with you okay that entire environment provided by vendor that we will call it as platform as a services for example they have built already environment okay so with the pre install and configuration of the web server as well for example you would like to deploy one java application then to deploy the java application whatever the environment is required all that it is in pre setup just go and deploy the your application so here you need not worry about installation and configuration management network monitoring everything would be taken care by vendor just you have to take care about deploy the application deployment of application it doesn't matter just you can drag and drop your application files so they are providing run time and platform you need not worry about management okay that is what infrastructure as a services clear yeah next now uh, uh, next thing is saas okay so in our day to day life in our day to day activities which we are performing in organization already we are entering to the software as a service could you please tell me best example for software as a service anyone uh, like gmail oh, yeah gmail. very good so microsoft yes 365 yes office 365 is the success product in the market no other products are there to beat office 365 okay office 365 it has around 30 services okay nothing has to be installed in our device okay everything we can do it using browser all uh, to do all you need only internet connectivity okay best example uh, you are using ms teams am i right okay who is managing by uh, ms teams are you managing are your organization managing no it is managed by microsoft yes sir no we have ms teams outlook okay a uh, sharepoint okay a uh, stream okay next also we have a uh, dynamic crm dynamic crm okay uh, sorry crm next also we have ms word 
M S uh, P P T, Outlook, everything, uh, all these components are managed by Microsoft. Okay, you need not install all these components in your device. Everything can be accessible in the browser itself. Okay, yeah, this is what software as a services. Okay, see guys, these are the components provided by Office 365. Now, admin, bookings, calendar, compliance, uh, dynamics, uh, Excel, form, okay, analytics, one drive. Okay, one note. Okay, next uh, Outlook, People, Planner, Power Apps, Power Automation, Power BI. All these things are managed by Microsoft. You need not worry about manage these things. This is about what? Software as a services. Okay, so this is the one side is enough to differentiate between on premises and cloud. Have a look, uh, this is the on premises These are what? Cloud computing. Now tell me in on premises to perform all these things, networking, storage, okay, next, operating system, installation and configuration, middleware, runtime application. To perform all these things, we required one thing. What was that? Any idea? Just now I said. To maintain all these own data center. And, yeah, we required our own DC data center. That is what on premises. Next, in the cloud, if you go for infrastructure as a service, see guys carefully observe the things which are highlighted with red color that will be taken care by vendor. Okay, now would you like to deploy? Windows operating system or Linux, that is totally depends on business requirement. Okay, some projects may require, I would like to build five servers with Windows operating system. Some same, another project, they would like to deploy five servers with Linux operating system. Yes, you can choose the operating system on top of whatever the types of application you would like to host it. Yes, go ahead and host it. Okay, yeah, that is about what infrastructure as a services. Next platform as a service in the sense I said, right? Runtime, okay, and the platform they have provided, just you have to take care about your application. You least bother about it, what type of application you are going to host it. In our hand, if you have Java, yes, Java rediment environment is there. If you would like to host PHP, Python, Ruby, .NET, any type of application, yes, there is a ready-made environment, go ahead and deploy it. Deployment is a not big challenge. Just drag and drop the files. How we people are drag and drop the files from your local to OneDrive or Google Drive. Okay, there are different ways to host the application. I will show you how to do that. Next, software as a service, see nothing is in your hand, everything managed by the vendor just you have to consume it whatever they have provided that's it okay that is about what a difference between on premises and cloud computing okay next see so uh, this is the types of cloud what are the types of cloud one is public private hybrid what is the public guys? Generic term, right? What is the public? Accessible by all. Yeah, the resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world. It's called public. Do you agree? I am repeating. What is the public? The resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world. It's called public. Okay, for example, I have created one virtual mission. If I share username and password with you, you can sit anywhere in the world, then can communicate my mission and perform the activities. Okay, that is about what? Public cloud. Okay, private in the sense? The organization. Yes. 
the resources can be can accessible be access. within the corporate network is called private for example you are working in tcs okay so what we will do we will go to the office and uh, we will connect it to tcs provided vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network then it will establish it to client network then we will able to access what all client related applications other services the moment when you disconnect the vpn or coming out from the organization then will we able to communicate from our local home network no am i right that is what private network Hybrid in the sense, you know, right? Hybrid keyword nowadays, right? We are asking about hybrid model, hybrid model. What does it mean? Hybrid in the sense? Working the combination. Days. Combination of public and private. And private is called hybrid. Same way, uh, in our generic words, two days work from home, three days work from home is office. The combination we will call it as what? Hybrid model. Am I right? Same way here also same. Okay, few of the applications are running in public and some of the applications are running private. If we establish the connection between these two and access overall things that we will call it as what? Hybrid. Okay, but hybrid it is costly and sensitive and more uh, flexible and secure as well. Also, it is high cost. I will let you know how to do the tunnel later. Yeah, next. Now, uh, to provide cloud computing, there are many vendors are there. Am I right? What are they? Any idea? One is Microsoft Azure. Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft Azure. Azure. AWS. Yeah, AWS. second AWS. one AWS. Third one GCP. Cloud. GCP. Yeah, GCP, Google Cloud. IBM. Yeah, Oracle Cloud. Next, fourth, fifth one, IBM Cloud. IBM. I can say IBM Bluemix. Okay, next, sixth one, Alibaba. Okay, also we have OpenStack. Okay, we have n number of cloud vendors are there to provide cloud computing technology. Out of them, okay, if you consider cloud market is 100%, okay, these two, okay, Microsoft Azure and AWS, they occupied 80%, remaining all 20%. Okay, so 80% are paid by AWS and Microsoft Azure, remaining all GCP, Oracle, IBM, okay, Alibaba, OpenStack, just their percentage in the world is just 20%. Okay, so why Microsoft Azure, why not AWS, okay? Uh, yeah, Microsoft will say, I am the market leader. AWS will say, I am the market leader. Okay, what is the between both of them? Why should we go for Microsoft Azure? Why not AWS? And what are the services are very flexible in Azure? What are the things are not there in AWS? That all we will discuss it in detail. Okay, yeah, first thing, what is the Azure? See why they have mentioned Azure keyword? Simply they can mention Microsoft Cloud, right? Instead of Microsoft Cloud, why they have mentioned Azure? What is the uh, meaning of Azure? Any idea? Have you tried out any time? Okay, so this word first suggested and Microsoft Azure implemented by first thing, Nadal Satya. The Azure Cloud Computing Initiate behind that is Nadal Satya. Okay, so initially, uh, Azure in the sense, blue color style. You can go ahead and Google uh, Azure in the sense that is blue color sky. In the sky itself, we will have the cloud. That is the meaning behind that they have mentioned this keyword. So initially Microsoft Azure logo is, this is the one. Blue color clouds where they have mentioned just words. Initially Microsoft uh, introduced that Azure into the market the initial load is this is the one now they have changed slowly okay so what is the microsoft azure any idea azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services note it down what is the microsoft azure azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through global network data centers is called Microsoft Azure. 
Okay, this is the exact definition. This definition provided by Microsoft, not by me. As it is, I copied and pasted it here. Okay, what is the Microsoft Azure? Microsoft Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services. This is the interview question. Okay, when you attend uh, Microsoft itself, you will get this question. What is the Azure? Azure is a comprehensive, comprehensive in the sense, set of, group of, all interface features. Okay. Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where you can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through global network data centers. Is called Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah. Next. When Microsoft Azure came into the picture, okay, Microsoft Azure came into the picture in the year of 2010. Okay, that time we will call it as Windows Azure. Windows Azure, it supports only Microsoft related applications. Okay, Max, they are supporting only Microsoft related applications. Later, in the year of 2014, okay, they introduce new deployment model called ARM. ARM in the sense Azure Resource Manager. And they renamed Windows Azure as a, what is that? Microsoft Azure. Sorry. Okay, Microsoft Azure. Okay, so this is about what? Uh, finally, now we, we, we are calling it as Microsoft officially in the market. Okay, yeah, so this is the one slide. So in the 2020, 2010, they introduced, what is that? Windows Azure, later in the year of 2014, they renamed it Windows Azure as a Microsoft Azure. This is the history of the Microsoft Azure. Okay, I am telling why Microsoft Azure, why not AWS is. Microsoft has around 200 plus data center space. Around the world, they have 200 plus data centers. No other cloud is there uh, which has these many data centers. Okay, this is the whole biggest and the first organization which they have installed the, these many data centers. Next, uh, see that is what directly they have mentioned. Azure has more global regions than any other cloud provider. Here, other cloud provider in the sense I can say AWS. Okay, it is offering scalable, bring your application closer to customers. Bring your application closer to customers in the sense, uh, we can provide better performance. We can provide better service. If any service is down in the same, our local data center, they can fix on immediate basis. Okay, in order to provide high availability. So we have another data center where we can migrate, automatically migrate our services to another data center in order to meet 99.99% SLA. Okay, these are advantages are there about Microsoft Azure. Clear? So uh, they have mentioned 60 plus region and around 140, 150, 140 countries, they have their own data centers. Okay, clear? This is about what? Azure information. Next. So why should we go for Azure? Why not AWS? Just now I given few points. Remaining all, see, uh, it is low cost. Compared to AWS, Azure is less cost. Next, instant capacity. Instant capacity in a sense, I would like to uh, increase the size or downgrade the size of VM or downgrade the size of configuration of the app services. 
any every time any time anywhere uh, if you have internet connectivity just you can do downgrade or upgrade configuration of your application that is what instant capacity like instant copy okay yeah next speed and agility next global reach you know right your data can be distributed across the globe in a minutes okay yeah you know right why microsoft and google and facebook their applications are very fast even though they have billions of customers all around the world why because they are publishing the data they are publishing the data across the world nearest cache servers okay if i access my facebook my request will go to nearest data center not main data center okay that is about what they are distributing the content across the globe in a minutes next it is secure so security is doesn't a matter nowadays they are providing high security you will not able to hack the data even though if you tap nadala satya laptop directly you will not able to do anything why because they are uh, encrypted the data many layers okay so microsoft azure certified around 70 plus complaints no worries about security okay yeah this is about what uh, benefits of microsoft azure okay yeah next so in azure we have around 15 plus certification papers i said my words are very clear why because uh, microsoft azure is a comprehensive set of services in the sense we have web services artificial intelligent iot machine learning intune microsoft defender like 200 plus services they have provided uh, more than that so based on your requirement you people can consume any services okay so for every technology we have separate paper okay so main thing is i can suggest uh, we have administrator administrator certification paper is az104 okay next uh, azure devops i can say azure administration azure devops okay azure devops certification paper is az400 same way if we go for azure development okay here we have az204 okay next uh, azure architect okay azure architect uh, is az305 uh, these are the important four certification papers are there as i said azure ai azure cyber security azure data engineer azure fundamentals okay azure machine learning uh, azure security azure virtual we have n number of certification papers are there around uh, 15 to 20 okay but very popular sir these four i am going to teach you these two certification papers microsoft azure administration with devops so what are the topics i am going to cover and uh, what are the sub topics are there in respect of these two okay that all we will present it in next session okay in tomorrow session okay if you have any questions feel free and ask me i will happy to help you yeah we cover the fundamentals nine hundred Is yeah, AZ right? fundamentals, AZ nine hundred. That already included in AZ one zero four. You need not worry about it. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Syllabus no change. Sorry. Syllabus. Yeah, yeah, that's what. So whatever the content I am going to present, I am going to explain for this course. I will uh, I will display it in tomorrow's session. Sir, I have a few questions. Yeah. how was the career growth sir yeah azure has lot of demand in the market guys uh for 3 years experience how much we can expect this salary 
forget about salaries and all just learn and enter into the market that is kind okay. Of, okay so getting the salary that all depends on how much package you are uh, drawing in one company many parameters are there okay yeah any coding is required sir so administration it is no coding is required that's what we have separate paper development okay uh, for development you should have profession in uh, uh, like java dot net so that you can move to development things okay azure administration and Dev devops this is total configuration and uh, configuration implementation no coding is required so some scripting part is required like that i will say. Uh, compared to Azure, uh, AWS has more services, sir. Ah, uh, uh, no, but... both are same, guys. If okay. I ask you, BMW car is good or Ferrari car is good, means what you will say? Both are good. They have their own mm -hmm. isolated features. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, sir, after finishing the course, uh, if I want something like a uh, in like our CV, can we get some help in that as well? Like. Uh, I will provide the sample series and the help you out how to do that CV preparation. Uh, I will give the demo. How, how, what is the C I will share these sample versions. You people can modify according to that and publish it. Okay. Answer if uh, like uh, whatever the lecture and suppose like we, we will get this PPT or like. Yeah, for every session, uh, I will share the PPTs and uh, uh, PDFs, uh, okay, recordings, everything I will share with you. No need to worry. Okay. Uh, and the session will every day, like uh, seven days in a week or like? Uh, uh, five days in a week. Okay, five days. Monday to Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, you people can practice it. Again, Monday, we will start it. Okay, okay. Yeah. The course duration is two months, okay? So one month, uh, Microsoft Azure administration, other, uh, other uh, next one month is DevOps. Okay. One month in the sense, like uh, uh, hours basis, how many hours will cover? Every day, one hour. Even Saturday, Sunday also? Yeah, if I take the Saturday and Sunday, yes, I will take uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday also, one month. Okay, I mean, can we consider like a 30 days for an Azure admin and 30 days for an Azure DevOps, right? Yes. One okay. month Azure admin, one month Azure dev. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Sir, are, are you going to cover real time scenarios, sir? Yes, I am going to cover only real time scenarios. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. And this uh, certification purpose, uh, so we will be getting some help, sir. I Means, uh, sorry, because for certification and all, we have to pay uh, extra and take the exams, right? Yeah, that is the external. Uh, that certification paper, uh, that all I will give the information guys in tomorrow's session. Actually, there is the Hello, option. Can you hear me? Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes. Yes, my voice is clear, right, guys? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's audible. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead, Renke. Okay. And if I should miss any classes, we can get the uh, recordings, right? Yes, anyhow, every day we'll, we'll be receiving the recordings. Okay, okay. Are you going to cover uh, Docker and Kubernetes in this session? Yes, yes. Uh, in Azure DevOps, I will be covering Docker and Kubernetes. AKS, Linux Kubernetes services. Linux? Yeah, Linux initial I will cover. Okay, thanks. Yeah. So in Azure administration, it's like uh, uh, server administration. It will cover storage, infrastructure maintenance, uh, creating of VMs, like that it will be covered? Or? Yes, creating the VMs, deploying the application, okay, monitoring, troubleshooting, okay, everything, guys. Only Azure. So using the Terraform, you can uh, edit this on Alexa, you can download through infrastructure as a 
Hello. Yeah, come again, we have a question. Ashok. Uh, like uh, now, we are man in, in website, we are manually creating VMs, storage, networking, all this stuff we are doing in Azure portal. By using the Terraform, we can, uh, you, you will say by using Terraform, how can we do all the yeah. efforts? Yes, we can do Terraform, creating storage account services and all, we can deploy using Terraform templates. That can be covered in this Azure DevOps? Yes, 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 that will be covered in Azure DevOps. That's what I said, no? Whatever the topics I am going to cover, everything I will present it in next session. Okay. And Thank one you, thing, sir. how it is different, you know, work-wise, Azure admin and DevOps engineer? Like, you know, DevOps engineer having many things to do, but admin part already. Yeah, said, DevOps in the sense, automation, guys. The name itself, it is describing that development and operations. If you merge it together, that we will call it as DevOps. Okay, but so like admin work is totally different, it will be there, right? Compared to DevOps. Ah, no, it is yeah. same. Admin work is based for DevOps. See, if you go for any cloud computing, you least bother about it, whether you will go for AWS or Google or uh, uh, Azure. So mm -hmm. admin part is mandatory, guys, for cloud. Okay, okay. Okay. So that knowledge Next, will be more you'll beneficial. You'll be acting too. as an architect, you'll be acting as a data engineer, you'll be acting as a network, you'll be acting as a DevOps engineer. Uh, forget about them. First base is administrator. Without learning administrator, if you jump into some other things, again, you have to come from scratch. That is damn sure. Okay. And I think somehow it is related to AWS as well, because some of my friends, they are working, but they took, you know, that some knowledge or some training outside. Yeah. And they learn AWS, but finally they are working as an Azure admin only, Azure DevOps, not as AWS. So it's, ah, I think, quite... DevOps is very popular. Yeah, yeah. So it's mostly similar, I think, right? work wise or some terminology will be different, but of course both are cloud only. How you give him the example, like you know, Ferrari is good or BMW. So almost same only, right? The terminology yeah, yeah, is same. Yeah. And two months the course will be finished or it will be counted here already, already you said, right? I think two months you said the days, right? The classes timing. So it yeah. will go around three months, definitely. No, two months, guys. Okay. Okay. For the web, it is required coding. Right? For uh, no, configuration, little bit of the Terraform uh, to understand is required. So anyhow, that will I will take care about it. You need not. Uh, do we get the course content? Uh, what are the things covered for yeah, Azure? Sure, sure, sure. I will share with you guys. Yeah. So second one, uh, if we are taking uh, Azure administration, so after completion of this. Uh, can we go for architect, Azure architect? Yes, happily you can go for architect. So which one is in demand actually? Uh, so now in the you market, say... I can say administration with the apps, guys. So architect people maximum depends on your experience, guys. Okay. For example, architect, how it will be? See, for example, I am the client. Okay. All my servers are in on premises. Now I am looking for some cost saving. You are the architect. Hey, I would like to migrate my servers into Microsoft Azure. Just to provide our solutions. So you have to confirm if I migrate the servers into Azure, how much I can save the cost? What are the benefits they are providing? Okay, if we get any service down, what would be the resolution? Okay, that all you have to provide it. Okay. Is the architect job. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to know all these things, administrator is mandatory. And one more thing okay. that, you know, that uh, getting job into like Azure field, like cloud, either admin or DevOps, is it mandatory to having certification? Uh, not required, guys. Okay. And so internal switch, how it is possible? In already... the sense, gate pass. Okay. Yeah. Certification in a sense, like a gate pass. Uh, I am the profession in this technology. I am the right person uh, to do this job. That's it. Okay, okay. Yeah. An internal switch is also the bit because already I'm working, having that, you know, I'm in the DBA part. I wanted to move internally first, later on I'll switch in other organizations. So it is, it will work, right? 
yeah, so now cloud is mandatory guys whether you are working as a uh, database administrator or windows administrator some storage administrator or anything now digital market is mandatory that's why i think 10 days back uh, sundar pichai given the one seminar now he is banadal satya providing the seminars all over the countries okay now going forward cloud is mandatory all business taking care by these two only azure and aws no worry on that no query about it so gcp is like far behind right now it is not leading because as you ah, at this is... point uh, nothing that doesn't have much demand in the market so most mm-hmm. of the market i said right 80% they have acquired microsoft and aws why i am saying microsoft is leader is so many components they are going to implement many changes are coming the changes are implementing drastically so now my azure market share is like anything you can google it i am not telling as a faculty i am working as a so happily you can get more information so how many years of experience we can keep if we, after the completion of this course guys for the, uh, for real time people no worries actually you can keep for 4 to 5 years okay happily they can hire you why because already you have real time experience uh, for newly entering to the organization they have to keep minimum that is what 3 to 5 so they have to learn many things that's it and so this you are already working as a devops right or as your admin right in some way sorry you are already working as a, a as your admin or like devops i am working as a architect guys okay okay yeah definitely that will help for for us also to yeah. getting the real time things yeah. right okay okay thanks for your time have a great yes, day yes. i have a question uh, actually i have the content but uh, when i uh, reach to other institute they ask uh, that it is the uh, almost 6 month course then how you uh, finish yeah, it in uh, within... depends on you guys okay? Uh, okay mine is my training is totally different okay i will take only one batch okay so some people will drag like one year that doesn't look good if i drag like six months or three months finally you will lose the interest now market a uh, lot of changes are coming so whatever the feature is there today after one month that is uh, modified and some way they are keeping okay it is not it is not a we are not studying like btech or mca like years and years okay, okay. So. complete the course as soon as possible learn basics and enter into the organization that is the basic if you learn everything is a perfect that course that implementation is not happening in the market nowadays now technology is like running like super fast okay so my words are very clear uh, i will explain to us this is totally real time okay uh, i am whatever i am going to explain if you practice it i can write it down bond 100% you will get the job great sir thank you Okay. And the timings will be con- only eight. Timings long. won't be changed. Six thirty to seven thirty. Ah, so that is the fixed time there for now. Okay. We can fix. It. Evening, you don't have any batch, uh, Shikhar. Ah, and that's what I am telling. I will take only one batch. That's okay. It. Even I have office timings and all, right? I have to cover. That's what I am not going to run many batches. Only one batch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks for your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before going for Microsoft Azure, let me introduce about myself. Uh, hi, my name is Shaker. I have fifteen years of experience on Microsoft technologies. Currently, I am work- working as a Azure architect. Okay. Yeah. next before going for microsoft azure just i want let you know something about it infrastructure okay do you know what is the it infrastructure anyone has any idea generally what is the it infrastructure 
IT infrastructure is the combination of software as well as like hardware. Is the like uh, if it's uh, like in a data center, we can see the like database server, computers, and all and all the combination yes. of hardware and softwares. Yes, correct. Simply, we can say uh, if we enter into the one organization, whatever the things are visible, that we will call it as infrastructure. Am I right? I can say systems, cables, wires. Okay, uh, and the routers, internet connectivity, server rack, server data center, all these things we, we can call them as infrastructure. Simply we can say IT infrastructure is nothing but collection of hardware, software, switches, network, load balancer is called IT infrastructure, right? Okay, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we require what? Data center, okay? If you go for any organization, the company will have their own data center. The company uh, will have their own data center. See, this is the exact picture of IT infrastructure. If we consider, see, these are all the devices. Devices are connecting to one router. So this is load balancer. The request is maintained by load balancer. Also, this is the hardware system, RAT, database. These are the network connectivity, cable, swipes. These are, we will call them as what? IT infrastructure. This is the exact definition of IT infrastructure. The term infrastructure as an information technology that refers collection of hardware, software, switches, network load balancer is called IT infrastructure. Now, uh, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we required what? One DC. What is the DC? Data center. Okay, if you go for TCS, Cartridge and Wipro, Accenture, any company in the world, they will have their own data center. They have their own data center. Okay, so simply I can say, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization. I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through internal or corporate network is called data center. Okay, I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a heart of the organization. Okay, for example, uh, you have an organization, you got one project where I would like to build five servers. So to build five servers, what we have to do? We have to go and verify whether space is available in the data center. Once space is available, then we will drag the servers. Then we will start building all these five servers from scratch. Okay, so that is what data center. See, this is the exact picture of data center. This is the exact picture of data center. For example, we are working on one organization. We got one new project where I would like to build 10 virtual missions. I can say 10 virtual missions. First step, what we have to do? First, submit the request to data center team. This is the data center team. Okay, they will verify whether space is available or not. Yes, they will drag the space. Once space is available, first step, they will install operating system. Okay, second step, they will configure the networking. Okay, third step, they will install all monitoring tools. Okay, fourth step, they will install security vulnerabilities and security patches for it to deploy your application. Okay, fifth step, we will configure the firewall rules. Sixth step, uh, we will enable network security rules, okay, virtual network rules, okay, et cetera, et cetera. Finally, we will verify all these servers are built uh, based on what is that checklist or not. Once these servers are built, finally, these servers would be handed over to development team. Am I right? Development team or project team, whoever it is, whatever we are calling it as. Now, to complete this process, minimum, it will take seven to 10 days. Why? Because uh, we have to submit the request. It should be approved by manager. 
okay then uh, it will go to data center team data center team should allocate the space for these five servers depends on business requirement okay then installation configuration management uh, verify check security vulnerabilities to do all these things it will take minimum seven to ten days okay minimum seven to ten days okay uh, this is burden to organization why because if it is taking like uh, seven to ten days it is very difficult nowadays everything is happening instantly right so apart from that we have to manage windows team i mean operating system team next networking team okay next load balancer team next monitoring team next security team next application deployment and management team so many teams are required to manage or to provide the support to customer okay so to maintain these many teams to maintain our own data center okay the project but the the project budget is very 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 high okay we are not able to bear the organizations are not able to bear such kind of amount okay that is the one reason why entire it industry looking towards cloud 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 okay if we go for cloud computing whatever the count i said five servers that can be deployed within span of a minute i am telling only one minute not even two minutes okay we can host all these servers within span of a minute very seven days and uh, one minute there is a lot of gap okay when you go for cloud computing you need not maintain what is that these many teams like windows team monitoring team implementation team application monitoring team security team many things everything is in built we can provision the virtual machines within span of a minute okay that's why entire organization all the organization in the world looking towards cloud 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 okay this is the just one reason we have many reasons okay so what are the other reasons are there why entire organization is moving towards cloud computing first thing have a look to maintain the data center it is not a small task what is that to maintain the data center it is not a small task first thing to maintain our own data center we have to purchase the building we have to purchase the building or construct the building okay that building should be construct as per rules and regulations and guidelines provided by government okay so why because uh, we are going to store the data that might be sensitive for all uh, personal people or business related information so to build their own data center they have to follow rules and regulations and guidelines provided by it laws by government okay yeah next so uh, see first thing we have to purchase one building and design according to data center rules and regulations and guidelines next uh, we have to design the data center in such way that next to after designing the data center we need many things okay what are the things first thing we need dedicated space for housing infrastructure the point which i have just explained okay next we need high bandwidth internet high bandwidth internet in the sense for example uh, my organization data center is there in new york i am sitting in hyderabad okay to access the data to access the data or application information or database we need high bandwidth internet we need high bandwidth internet okay that is the another cost right next uh, we need redundant power supply redundant power supply in the sense see that to run this data center we need electricity we need electricity if there is no electricity then we should able to run this data center with a battery or generator again that is cost right yeah next step dust free environment you know right so always uh, we should 
we should construct these building and design and the main name should be what is that dust free environment do you know uh, microsoft data centers uh, they are trying to deploy them inside of the sea inside of the sea so going forward by 2030 data centers cannot be appear on earth uh, data centers they are going to build it inside of the sea okay that is the innovation is going on maybe that will be available by 2030 okay fine next other thing is uh, efficient cooling system okay efficient cooling system means if we enter into the data center you can see less than 10 degree celsius temperature less than 10 degree celsius temperature why because any hardware device it will produce lot of heat okay uh, in order to cool it so always we should maintain the ac temperature less than 10 degree celsius okay yeah next a uh, high physical security so high physical security in the sense anyhow as you know that already the data center uh, we can store the data that is very sensitive data am i right sensitive data in the sense we should provide a uh, high physical security unauthorized persons should not enter into the data center okay so unauthorized person should not enter into the data center so we have to provide high physical security if we maintain our own data center that is the story i am telling okay next so this is the disaster recovery disaster recovery in the sense for example this is the data center right this is the data center uh, assume that if you are managing only single data center okay uh, it got corrupted it got corrupted total data center got corrupted if it is got corrupted then whatever the data we have managed everything will get vanished i mean we have lost the data so we do not have the data we do not have the option to recover as well so to maintain what is that same data in multiple location we need maintain another thing called disaster recovery so another backup data center. If this data center is collapsed, another data center should be there to recover the data. So it should not affect it to your business. Am I right? So uh, if you are maintaining single data center, that is not enough. We, ha we also have to implement disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in the sense, recover the data if any unexpected events are occurred. You know, right? I think in the year of 2000, in the year of 2000 or 2001, there is a World Trade Center collapse in US. Why these terrorists are targeting World Trade Center? Why? Because Indian, uh, sorry, US economy, okay, US all financial system, they are storing on the data center. That's why they have collapsed. What is that? Uh, World Trade Center. Even though they have collapsed, uh, the US did not lost even single record. Single record in the sense. So whatever the debits and credits provided by uh, US, they haven't lost such related data. Why? Because they're already maintaining, what is that? Disaster recovery, another data center. Even though World Trade Center are collapsed by terrorists, they haven't lost any data, only physical damage of that building. That's it. Okay. Same way to maintain our data safe and secure, we need to maintain what is that? Disaster recovery. Okay. Yeah. To build another same data center, again, it is cost. Again, it is cost. Okay. Yeah. Next. Other thing is, we need more time, more expense to build infrastructure. I said, right? So if you would like to build few servers, uh, it will take minimum seven to 10 days, still in real time, okay? Because of all these challenges, entire IT industry looking towards cloud, 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 cloud. Clear? So 
let me summarize the point what we have discussed so far. Okay, what is the infrastructure? What is the cloud? What are the challenges are there to maintain our own data center? Okay, next. Now you people tell me what is the cloud? Cloud is generally nowadays it is generic term. Okay, if you go for any way, uh, people are telling that cloud, 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 cloud. Okay, now what is the cloud? Now you people tell me. Yeah, direct, uh, uh, we can say Nadal Satya is going to be visited Hyderabad uh, uh, Microsoft campus tomorrow. Okay, they are marketing about public uh, cloud, cloud, cloud. Why cloud? Why should we go for cloud? They are in detail providing in seminars. Day before yesterday, Noida, I think yesterday also in Delhi, tomorrow is going to be visited in Microsoft office in Hyderabad. They are going to launch fourth largest data center in Hyderabad that will be ready by 2025. Okay, so uh, why these uh, corporate CEOs are marketing like cloud, cloud, cloud? Why cloud? Can you tell me anyone? What is the cloud? Anyone? Uh, to store and retrieve the data from everywhere, like yeah, uh, okay. The internet. Yes. So simply say cloud is nothing but collection of what is that? Resources. I am repeating. What is the cloud? Cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud. Okay. So this is the cloud, assume that. In the cloud, they have deployed all the services. Whatever the required for enterprise environment, okay, all the services are at single place. As per your requirement, just access and consume that. That's it. Okay, yeah. Next, what is the cloud? I am repeating cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud computing. Okay, remote services in a sense for your organization. In the environment, whatever the things are there, everything they have placed in the cloud. For example, you need artificial intelligence. Yes, you can access it. I need to create one server, access it. Yes, do it. Okay, if you need implement machine learning, yes, implement it. That service is already there. And uh, if you need uh, uh, access and deploy the web apps, yes, access and host it. All these things are happening within span of minutes. Okay, here you need not uh, manage your own infrastructure. You need not worry about disaster recovery. You need not worry about uh, infrastructure configuration related information. Everything managed by, what is that? Cloud vendor. Okay, so this is the exact definition provided by uh, NIST. What is the cloud? Cloud is nothing but it is model of convenient on-demand network access based on your demand anytime, anywhere you can access those services. Okay, so where we can provision the network server storage applications that can be rapidly provisioned and with minimal management that is called cloud computing. If you feel that that is complicated, very simple, Okay, cloud computing is nothing but collection of remote services, just access them over the internet is called cloud computing. Okay, right, yeah, next. Now, in the cloud computing, there are three types of service models. Okay, what are they guys, any idea? So private cloud and public and hybrid cloud. Service models. One is as infrastructure as a service. Okay. One is infrastructure as a service. Platform as a service. Yes. Pass. Okay. Pass. Pass in the sense platform as a service. Okay. Pass. What is that? Software as a service. Why they have categorized into different uh, three types of cloud service deployment models? 
okay one is as as in the sense infrastructure they will provide the infrastructure application deployment and development should be managed by yourself okay for example you would like to deploy one java application okay for that you need to build five servers yes go ahead and build five servers within span of a minute then on top of it to host java application what we have to do install web servers web logic web sphere or jbus apache tomcat server on top of it host your java application then that should be managed by yourself okay the organization i mean cloud vendor just to provide the virtual machines then remaining management should be taken care by yourself why because application is yours management is yours that is what infrastructure as a service clear for example after one year your business is not good okay then go and destroy it at this moment okay till whatever the things we have consumed just pay for that that is what infrastructure as a services okay next platform as a services okay what is the platform as a services any idea so the name itself it is describing that platform platform in a sense um, they are providing platform and runtime for example you have to deploy one java application a java code is ready with you okay that entire environment provided by vendor that we will call it as platform as a services for example they have built already environment okay so with the pre install and configuration of the web server as well for example you would like to deploy one java application then to deploy the java application whatever the environment is required all that it is in pre setup just go and deploy the your application so here you need not worry about installation and configuration management network monitoring everything would be taken care by vendor just you have to take care about deploy the application deployment of application it doesn't matter just you can drag and drop your application files so they are providing runtime and platform you need not worry about management okay that is what infrastructure as a services clear yeah next now uh, uh, next thing is saas okay so in our day to day life in our day to day activities which we are performing in organization already we are entering to the software as a service could you please tell me best example for software as a service anyone uh, like gmail oh, yeah gmail. very good so microsoft yes 365 yes office 365 is the success product in the market no other products are there to beat office 365 okay office 365 it has around 30 services okay nothing has to be installed in our device okay everything we can do it using browser all uh, to do all you need only internet connectivity okay best example uh, you are using ms teams am i right okay who is managing by uh, ms teams are you managing are your organization managing no it is managed by microsoft yes so, or no we have ms teams outlook okay uh, sharepoint okay uh, stream okay next also we have uh, dynamic crm dynamic crm okay uh, sorry crm next also we have ms word ms uh, ppt outlook everything uh, all these components are managed by microsoft okay you need not install all these components in your device everything can be accessible in the browser itself okay yeah this is what software as a services okay see guys And these are the components provided by Office 365. Uh, 
now admin bookings calendar complaints uh, dynamics uh, excel form okay analytics one drive okay one note okay next uh, outlook people planner power apps power automation power bi all these things are managed by microsoft you need not worry about manage these things this is about what software as a services okay so this is the one side is enough to differentiate between on premises and cloud have a look uh, this is the on premises these are what cloud computing now tell me in on premises to perform all these things networking storage okay next operating system installation and configuration middleware run time application to perform all these things we required one thing what was that any idea just now i said to maintain all these own data center and, yeah we required our own dc data center that is what on premises next in the cloud if you go for infrastructure as a service see guys carefully observe the things which are highlighted with red color that will be taken care by vendor okay now would you like to deploy windows operating system or linux that is totally depends on business requirement okay some projects may require i would like to build five servers with windows operating system some same another project they would like to deploy five servers with linux operating system yes you can choose the operating system on top of whatever the types of application you would like to host it yes go ahead and host it okay yeah that is about what infrastructure as a services next platform as a service in the sense i said right run time okay and the platform they have provided just you have to take care about your application you least bother about it what type of application you are going to host it in our hand if you have java yes java ready made environment is there if you would like to host php python ruby dot net any type of application yes there is a ready made environment go ahead and deploy it deployment is a not big challenge just drag and drop the files how we people are drag and drop the files from your local to one drive or google drive okay there are different ways to host the application i will show you how to do that next software as a service see nothing is in your hand everything managed by the vendor just you have to consume it whatever they have provided that's it okay that is about what a difference between on premises and cloud computing okay next see so uh, this is the types of cloud what are the types of cloud one is public private hybrid what is the public guys generic term right what is the public accessible by all yeah the resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world is called public do you agree i am repeating what is the public the resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world is called public okay for example i have created one virtual machine if i share username and password with you you can see it anywhere in the world then can communicate my mission and perform the activities okay that is about what public cloud okay private in the sense the organization yes the resources can be can accessible access. within the corporate network is called private for example you are working in tcs okay so what we will do we will go to the office and uh, we will connect it to tcs provided vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network then it will establish it to client network then we will able to access what all client related applications other services the moment when you disconnect the vpn are coming out from the organization then 
will we able to communicate from our local home network no am i right that is what private network hybrid in the sense you know right hybrid keyword nowadays right we are asking about hybrid model hybrid model what does it mean hybrid in the sense Working the combination combination of public and private and private is called hybrid same way uh, in our generic words two days work from home three days work from home is office the combination we will call it as what hybrid model am i right same way here also same okay few of the applications are running in public and some of the applications are running private if we establish the connection between these two and access overall things that we will call it as what hybrid okay but hybrid it is costly and sensitive and more uh, flexible and secure as well also it is high cost i will let you know how to do that tunnel later yeah next now uh, to provide cloud computing there are many vendors are there am i right what are they any idea one is microsoft azure yeah azure. microsoft azure aws Yes, AWS. second one, AWS. Third one, GCP. Cloud. GCP. Yeah, GCP, Google Cloud. IBM. Yeah, Oracle Cloud. Next, fourth, fifth one, IBM Cloud. IBM. I can say IBM Bluemix. Okay, next, sixth one, Alibaba. Okay, also we have OpenStack. Okay, we have N number of cloud vendors are there to provide cloud computing technology. Out of them, okay if you consider cloud market is 100% okay these two okay microsoft azure and aws they occupied 80% remaining all 20% okay so 80% occupied by aws and microsoft azure remaining all gcp oracle ibm okay alibaba openstack just their percentage in the world is just 20% okay so why microsoft azure why not aws okay uh, yeah, microsoft will say i am the market leader aws will say i am the market leader okay what is the between both of them why should we go for microsoft azure why not aws and what are the services are very flexible in azure what are the things are not there in aws that all we will discuss it in detail okay yeah first thing what is the azure see why they have mentioned azure keyword simply they can mention microsoft cloud right instead of microsoft cloud why they have mentioned azure what is the uh, meaning of azure any idea have you tried out any time okay so this word first suggested and microsoft azure implemented by first thing nadal satya the azure cloud computing initiate behind that is nadal satya okay so initially uh, azure in the sense blue color style you can go ahead and google uh, azure in the sense that is blue color sky in the sky itself we will have the cloud that is the meaning behind that they have mentioned this keyword so initially microsoft azure low is this is the one blue color clouds where they have mentioned just words initially microsoft uh, introduced that azure into the market the initial low is this is the one now they have changed slowly okay so what is the microsoft azure any idea azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services note it down what is the microsoft azure azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where we can build deploy manage and access the applications through global network data centers is called microsoft azure okay this is the exact definition this definition provided by microsoft not by me as it is i copied and pasted it here okay what is the microsoft azure microsoft azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services this is the interview question okay when you attend uh, microsoft itself you will get this question what is the azure azure is a comprehensive comprehensive in the sense 
set of group of all enterprise features okay azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where you can build deploy manage and access the applications through global network data centers is called microsoft azure okay yeah next when microsoft azure came into the picture okay microsoft azure came into the picture in the year of 2010 okay that time we will call it as windows azure windows azure it supports only microsoft related applications okay max they are supporting only microsoft related applications later in the year of 2014 okay they introduce new deployment model called arm arm in the sense azure resource manager and they renamed windows azure as a what is that microsoft azure sorry okay microsoft azure Okay, so this is about what? Uh, finally, now we, we, we are calling it as Microsoft officially in the market. Okay, yeah, so this is the one slide. So in the 2020, 2010, they introduced, what is that? Windows Azure, later in the year of 2014, they renamed it Windows Azure as a Microsoft Azure. This is the history of the Microsoft Azure. Okay, I am telling why Microsoft Azure, why not AWS is. Microsoft has around 200 plus data center space. Around the world, they have 200 plus data centers. No other cloud is there uh, which has these many data centers. Okay, this is the whole biggest and the first organization which they have installed the, these many data centers. Next, uh, see that is what directly they have mentioned. Azure has more global regions than any other cloud provider. Here, other cloud provider in the sense I can say AWS. Okay, it is offering scalable, bring your application closer to customers. Bring your application closer to customers in the sense uh, we can provide better performance. We can provide better service. If any service is down in the same, our local data center, they can fix on immediate basis. Okay, in order to provide high availability. So we have another data center where we can migrate, automatically migrate our services to another data center in order to meet 99.99% SLA. Okay, these are advantages are there about Microsoft Azure. Clear? So uh, they have mentioned 60 plus region and around 150, 140 countries, they have their own data centers. Okay, clear? This is about what? Azure information. Next. So why should we go for Azure? Why not AWS? Just now I given few points. Remaining all, see, uh, it is low cost. Compared to AWS, Azure is less cost. Next, instant capacity. Instant capacity in a sense, I would like to uh, increase the size or downgrade the size of VM or downgrade the size of configuration of the app services. Only every time, anytime, anywhere, uh, if you have internet connectivity, just you can do downgrade or upgrade configuration of your application. That is what instant capacity, like instant copy. Okay, yeah, next, speed and agility. Next, global reach. You know, right, your data can be distributed across the globe in a minutes. Okay. Yeah, you know, right, why Microsoft and Google and Facebook, their applications are very fast, even though they have billions of customers all around the world. 
Why? Because they are publishing the data. They are publishing the data across the world nearest cache servers. Okay. If I access my Facebook, my request will go to nearest data center, not main data center. Okay. That is about what they are distributing the content across the globe in a minutes. Next, it is secure. So security is doesn't a matter nowadays. They are providing high security. You will not able to hack that data. Even though if you tap Nadella Satya laptop directly, you will not able to do anything. Why? Because they are uh, encrypted that data many layers. Okay, so Microsoft Azure certified around 70 plus complaints. No worries about security. Okay, yeah, this is about what? Uh, benefits of Microsoft Azure. Okay, yeah, next. So in Azure, we have around the 15 plus certification papers. I said my words are very clear. Why? Because uh, Microsoft Azure is a comprehensive set of services in the sense we have web services, artificial intelligence, IoT, machine learning, Intune, Microsoft Depender, like 200 plus services they have provided. Uh, more than that, so based on your requirement, you people can consume any services. Okay, so for every technology, we have separate paper. Okay, so main thing is I can 